After years of preparation, the Olympic Games in London proved to be a huge success. Around the world, audiences enjoyed the spectacular sporting event. But now all the athletes have gone, what legacy remains for the residents of the Olympic borough of Newham? Despite the large international crowds, many local business owners found that the Olympics didn't always have the desired effect on their profits. If you go, it's not that busy as it used to be at the time of Olympics. I'm not sure whether they're going to get good business now until unless they do some kind of marketing or they come up with you know something different it was actually uh, one of our quietest times ever since we very first uh, started the gallery um, i mean when, when we actually began it was it was there was no one around here anyway so to be quieter than that was um, a, a bit of a shock really i mean we were expecting a, a lot of people uh, it being so close and especially so close to the victoria gate Held as a celebration of multiculturalism in Britain, one key question is whether inter-community relations will continue to succeed after the Games. Um, I think the Olympics was good. Um, it improved the profile, the, 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 the area, you know, it was busy around the area. It's, um, uh, there was a, like a camaraderie thing, uh, like a love thing, like created because of the Olympics. Because I can remember watching some athletes running, some people I didn't even know. And uh, the excitement and joy created was just, it was just good for the community. It brought the Jamaica community together and everyone loved everyone. And organizing, organization, peace and love that it bring to we Jamaican. Um, so you get an amazing sense of community spirit, um, just, just naturally. And the Olympics for a short while at least, kind of, while it was on, it kind of took that away a little bit because a lot of the people left because they thought it was going to be so intensely busy. Um, so now with the communities coming back. One key aim of the Games was to inspire a generation of young children. Although it's early days, many residents have already begun to think about its impact on the youth of Newham. In terms of uh, youths and kids, I think it must have been absolutely motivating and it gives them something to look forward to, like, oh, I could be that, you know, I could be doing that. So rather than just looking at politicians or just the small roles that they can see in their life, it's like, oh, yeah, I could get into sports and I can actually get somewhere. So I think it's awesome. Another aspect of the Olympic Legacy Project is to accommodate five new neighbourhoods in the Olympic Park, with up to 8,000 new homes completed by 2015. Residents have mixed ideas about this, with some worried that house prices might rise as a result of the Games. I think they, that, that land was desolate, you know, abandoned land before, and it's an opportunity to, to really put something back into London for, for people that can't, uh, yeah, people that can't afford to live, I suppose. I mean, it's, it's a great opportunity, and that would be a brilliant legacy to have as well. And of course, in a year's time, the north side of the park reopens, so it gets a bit more attractive uh, to be here. And then two years, again, you'll be able to walk from here to Stratford in, in 10 minutes uh, straight through the park so I expect then the rents will really kind of get more expensive. But overall what do residents think the Olympics has brought to Newham? I think there's been quite a lot of like positive developments in the area um, in a sense that it's kind of given a space for young professionals to come down and like really find themselves. The Olympics is really yet to be discovered on, 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 on whose legacy is it as uh, there were a lot of people here and have been here for, for years and years working in studios and running really successful creative businesses um, and the Olympics coming in is although it's had lots of development in lots of other areas and some uh, it's really good developments around this area as well um, it, it has also kind of opened the doors to a lot more kind of corporate clients coming in and taking over building. And that, I think it's just the history of just a lot of things in terms of regeneration projects and how they're half thought out and not really prepared for properly. And it's just really unfortunate sometimes. I'd, I mean, I think it'd be lovely if it happened, but I think it takes serious planning and I don't know if it's something that people are really prepared to do and do properly. So Things change and people have different perspectives about East and how that area should look. I don't know, for me it definitely changed a lot. One thing that is certain is the borough of Newham helped to create images of a confident cosmopolitan city following last year's riots. Whilst many were happy to have the spotlight on Stratford, the legacy left behind is still yet to be shaped. This is Celestina Ololode for JN1 in London.